Exodus chapter 3, verses 7 and 8. And it's actually become the model of my prayer life. It starts off, it says, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt. It says, I've heard them crying out because of their slave drivers. I am concerned about their suffering. God sees and hears and he understands what goes on and says, So I have come down to rescue them from the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land. God sees, he hears, he cares, and he's going to do something. I find that just mind-boggling. The God of the universe cares about you and me, and he's going to do something. It may not be exactly what I would want personally, but sometimes he clues us into his plans. Sometimes he doesn't. But God is going to work. If we cry out to him, he hears our cry and he answers that cry. He does something for us. Now, lastly, what it says is not only is he going to do something, bring them out of the land, he's going to bring them into a good and spacious land, a land flowing with milk and honey. Isn't that fun? God has good plans for us. Sometimes we can get down on ourselves and we can think, oh, all we deserve is bad. But what God, our loving Heavenly Father, is saying, I see you. I hear the cry of your hearts, and I care about you, and I'm going to do something for you. Hear me, God is saying, I'm going to do something good. I'm going to bring you into that good place, that land flowing with milk and honey. And then I'll stop and listen in my prayer life. And maybe he'll tell me what he's going to do. Maybe not. Sometimes we just have to trust in the goodness of our God. Because God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Now, I just encourage you to try out this format for prayer here this week. That you would see God working. That you would hear his voice. That he, he would cry out and know that he hears your voice. That you would know that he is caring for you that he's doing something for you but in it, what God does for us is good you have a good week God bless you